being my fourth year in the V8, um, it's definitely exciting because it's our last chance. Um, it's our last chance for that A10 championship glory, you could say. And it's just an exciting time. Um, this is championship season. After this, we got Bergen Cup, we got Dad Vales. But what's so great about the A10 is that every, every sports team at St. Joe's participates in this conference championship. So it definitely makes our rowing team feel more connected and uh, more proud to represent St. Joseph's University. And I would, I would love just to beat Rhode Island and UMass. They're such tough competitors and they're just very well respected. They have huge teams. Rhode Island doubles our teams. They have about like 70, 80 girls. We have maybe 35. So to say we're the underdog is something that is true, but we, we're going out there to prove something. So we're definitely really excited to make our mark on this A-10 championship. I think we have a great chance. I mean, we've started um, new conditioning programs and we've gotten a lot stronger as a team all the way from the top to bottom. So I think that will help us, you know, bring it to the next level. We've always been, you know, tied for third place or third place since I've been here. So hopefully that new aspect of our team will bring us to the next level. Attention. that senior leadership is very important, especially to um, kind of calm down the younger girls. They tend to get nervous before races, which is good, but not, not too much, you know? So um, we tend to level them out. It's huge, it's very important. Um, the fact that we got international racing experience definitely just is another feather in our cap. We are, um, we're really good racers. I think that's something people underestimate about our team. We might not have the best ERG scores or the biggest girls, but when it comes to race day, we're definitely up for the challenge and it could be anyone's race. And for the most part, we, we like to come in first place. So it's definitely an exciting time. Well, we've had a lot of experience rowing on that river. A lot of girls are from the air, like the local area, like New Jersey and Pennsylvania rowers. So a lot of them have rowed on that river as well through high school. Um, we know all the landmarks, you know, it's a very tough race, but just having that familiarity with it, I think helps a lot. It's really important because uh, the crew kind of relies on knowing where they are in the race. And it's 2,000 meters long, and if they don't know where they are, they could think there's 1,500 meters left, 500 meters left, and not know. So knowing what the course is helps that. Um, and also, we've been there a million times. Um, I know the course is perfectly straight. A lot of people don't like Cooper because they say it always rains, but I love it. Having that experience two years ago, it's really uplifting and it's inspiring just to know what it feels like to win. Um, it was a really tough race and they always are and uh, it just it gives us a lot of hope and like it, it gives us an extra push to drive forward just because we know what that feels like and it's just it's the best feeling in the world when you cross the finish line with like eight of your best friends. It's really exciting because these girls are you know, the best at what they do and they've been in this boat for a few years, but um, it's great to be able to put yourself up to that higher standard. So they're always there to push me to the next level, but also, you know, being nervous because it's my first year in the boat, they're always there to calm me down a little bit and let us know, like, it's okay. And, you know, we have the practice and the conditioning to do what we have to do best. Being as it's my senior year, I definitely want to go out with a bang. So I really want to win this year, and I know the rest of the girls do too.